Houston, we have a problem, a big one. It is not good. Um, we've been, we've not been obviously using the van like we normally would do because we've been back in the cottage because I'm trying to get recovered and what have you. Um, we've come back into the van today and everything just felt damp when I got in. And I thought maybe it's just condensation, but I, I, you know, everything, the floor feels damp. Every, and I've had a look around and this air vent fan here, this fan in the ceiling seems to be leaking. It got droplets of water all the way around it. <clears throat> I don't know how, because obviously it was sealed properly. I can't understand how water's getting in, but that's a massive issue because if water's getting in through that, that means it's getting into the roof um, in between, which is filled with layers of insulation. Um, so that all that could be getting wet. Um, this all feels wet, so it's obviously spread around. Um, so at the moment, there's nothing we can do. I can't get on top of the roof and start looking at it and trying to fix it um, with the way that I am. I can only just stand up, let alone like walking and climbing on anything. As you know, Reese is not the most DIY savvy person, so he's not going to be able to get up there and do it. So the best thing I can think to do at the minute is to just try and dry everything out a little bit. So I've got like the little fire burning and the vent up and try and get the air circulating. And I don't know what else to do. I, I'm, I'm stuck. I don't know what else to do. It's really serious. The water could then be running down into the walls. It could all be getting wet behind the walls. Where the electrics are, which is not good. Um, so no, this is quite serious. This is quite... Quite a disaster, which we don't need on top of everything else. We've had a really, really hard few weeks. Um, you know, it's last sort of six weeks have been really, really difficult um, with me trying to get back on my feet, trying to get recovered. And I am doing small little walks now. I am managing to sort of do like, you know, just small walks, not much, can't do much in a day. Pushing myself as hard as I can because I just want to get back on my feet. I just want to be able to get back in the van. Um, I want to get back to being busy, so I'm pushing myself as hard as I possibly can do, um, but I just can't do any more than what I'm doing. I don't know what else to do. And now this happening on top of everything else. But on a positive note, on a positive note, I can have my coffee again. I can have my Cloudgate coffee. There are other brands of coffee, and Cloudgate coffee do not sponsor us. Um, but this is just my favourite coffee, and I've bought this um, one of these things that cause I couldn't find the paper filters anywhere. So I've bought one of these. So you put water in bottom and then you put this thing on, you put your coffee in and then you put this on top. I've never used one, you know, they're really common in like Spain. It's a good job I looked at the cups because it says it serves 12 cups. That's not 12 cups, is it? No. That's like, because it's espresso, you ah, see? Ah, it's European. Yeah. It's an exp it's, what, yeah. espresso cup, so. I remember that from Spain. I've <laughs> A thumbnail of black coffee. <laughs> so I, I measured it all out. So this should do us two full cups and the water boils up through the coffee um, and then mixes a cup of coffee in top. So we're going to have a nice coffee, which I've been looking forward to having. Quite excited about that. It's a bit awkward, isn't it? That flame goes around outside, look. Mm. It's kind of... Oh, maybe turn safe, it down a it? bit like that, maybe. Yeah, this coffee is just absolutely delicious. It's our favourite coffee. Because he's a friend of ours as well. He's really sort of nice enough to supply keep, us keep with supply, free, yeah. with free supply. I just there's nothing like it. There's the taste difference when you taste it compared to like your other brands. Um, there's just nothing like it. It's roasted to perfection. John does all his own roasting. I, you intro I introduced you to him. Oh, probably about eight, nine, ten vlogs ago. Um, lovely, lovely guy, and he's got his own little factory and stuff, and it's, um, yeah, it's unbeatable. It's called Cloudgate Coffee. That's our favourite. Look at these. Romany Pirates Cups. Well, are they Romany Pirates Cups? It's the Romany Pirates logo's invisible. That's <laughs> like magic cups. Look at that. Romany Pirates Cups. No, we got sick. We had those metal ones, if you remember them, copper metal ones. And every time you had a coffee, it just tasted like really tinny, didn't it? And you burnt your hands. And so we were like, wait, we're just using normal cups. Like, you know, I don't have to use camping cups there, so we've got a couple of normal cups. Yeah, but they're scratched really easily. They're, scratched they're really, really poor easily. quality. They're They've ruined. like. Look. They're, they're covered in scratches. They look like we've had them years and I literally have just bought they're them. Brand they're brand new. Just, 
really poor quality, aren't they? Yeah. It doesn't matter, does it? It no. does the job. It doesn't matter. We brought you today, anyway, um, to Skipton. We've decided to come to Skipton. Shout out to Jackie, who made that recommendation to us. So we're going to have a wander around Skipton. We're going to go, um, there's a canal here, um, a load of canal boats. There's some beautiful walks. There's Skipton Castle. Plenty to see, plenty to do. I'm hoping it's going to be um, as, as wheelchair-friendly as possible, because I can't do walks um you know proper walks yet so reese is gonna have to push me around everywhere so jackie is a friend of ours hi jackie and colin and they said oh go to skipton so jackie this is for you and it's on you if it's not very good <laughs> so anyway we're gonna explore we're gonna have this brew first and then explore and show you around skipton we bumped into one of our viewers in our village as well last week um so just sort of a shout out to you i didn't get your name i'm really sorry i didn't get your name it's really rude of me but you know who you are um, and it was nice chatting to you and i hope you got your park up sorted out all right <laughs> got another problem i don't know if i've done it wrong it doesn't work well the water's in the bottom right but look in there there's nothing in the top i think that in the coffee meant to come through into the top i don't know are you meant to put your coffee in I don't know. I watched them do it on one of other YouTube channels and I thought it was going to be really easy. And it's not, and it's, I can't, I'm going to have to sit down now. I can't stand up this long. <laughs> when does it bubble up through? Maybe it's when it's boiled. Possibly. Oh, I'll tell you what, people ask us about heating in this van. Obviously we've got the little fire, um, which we don't use very often because we have to have the, the vents on to let the fumes out. So it's a bit pointless, but, um, but this electric blanket, absolute lifesaver this thing plugs in there lovely and toasty great in bed on a night you get too warm in bed on a night because it's that toasty i just want to be away in europe i'm sick of being here i want to get away i want to be in spain and i've been watching all other youtube channels you know and you're just like looking back and you know, oh, and i was watching one last night and i'm like oh we went there we parked there i want to go back there <laughs> I just want to get back into the warm weather. I'm not built for this weather here. I'm not built for it at all. If you're wondering what that noise is, we've turned the fan on. Oh, yeah, that's a question. To try and get question. circulation going throughout the van. Oh, that's a question for people. I think that's working. I can oh, smell God, it. Oh, God, here we go. Have a look inside. Look at that. What? Is it doing it? Doing what? Bubbling water up. Oh, I can't see. There's not... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know what to do. Is it going to... Cut lid down, it's going to spurt everywhere. Getting coffee all <laughs> over the place, look at you. Poor Gretel the kettle, just sat there watching on. Poor Gretel's been sacked. We need a new name for this one now. Is I... Gretel the kettle like in retirement now then? Or? No, because we we'll still need it when we have herbal teas and stuff like that, won't we? But how do you know? Because it don't whistle, no, right? So that's... how do I know when that's filled well, with water it's... at the top? I don't know. Well, I suppose it can't get any more full than the water we've put in the bottom, can it? What we're going to call this? Oh, yeah, what we're going to call it? We need a name. Obviously, the kettle's called Gretel, Gretel the kettle. Comment, please, beneath for a name for this new whatever this thing is here. Do you know what, what suggested this on comments? Because we asked people what to do, and loads of people put comments in about different types of coffee machines and stuff. Yeah. And this is the one that we went for, which were in the comments. So if you did comment, oh, I'm so sorry, I've been really rubbish at checking stuff like this because I've not been well. But if you did comment for us to get one of these, which I think there were about four or five people that mentioned them, um, thank you, because I didn't know what it was called, and so that's why I've been able to order it. Bridge. If it were you, we'll name it after you. Look at Gretel. Shame, really. Feel a bit guilty. So, I was going to ask a question. This fan at the front here um, is really, really good. It's quiet, you can hardly hear it. The one at the back, ever since we fitted it in, always been the same problem. It makes a racket. And I don't know why it makes a racket. I don't really... Kn so, you see, can you hear that now? We've only got the front one going That's now. That's how loud it was. And it's right quiet. So I don't know how, I don't know what it is with it. I can't see anything that's wrong with it. But if anybody knows why it's making that rattling noise and what I've got to do about it to try and fix it, um, yeah, we might be able to figure it out. Preferably without having to take the whole flipping thing back out again. That's the thing, isn't it? Okay, so we've brewed it. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Uh, when learned you use these today. machines to do your coffee with, you don't need to put as much coffee in it as you do when you're using the paper filters. Because this is oh, like... That's nice, not, actually. It's like a 
triple, I don't know, what would you call it? Really like a strong. quadruple express, espresso. We didn't realise that. <laughs> it brews too much, it stronger. Yeah, we've put too much coffee in, so it must. It must brew it like better because it's forcing the water up through it or something like that. It must brew it stronger. Because normally I use two tablespoons, but that is way too much for this machine. Normally I don't have oat milk in mine, but I've had to put some oat milk in just to, because it's really strong. It's nice, but it is really strong. I'm going to be awake for like next like fortnight. <laughs> We need you as well as kind of commenting on what we're going to name this new contraption um, and giving us some hints or tips around the noise from the fans. Another thing that we need you to do is to let us know what you want us to do over the next sort of coming weeks. We're really struggling because obviously normally we're out on road all the time. We're visiting loads of places. At the minute, it's difficult for me to travel too far because I can't sit for too long. Somebody um, had said to kind of point out from a wheelchair perspective how how it is in terms of getting into shops so we're going to do that yeah we're going to try and bring that, that in um, a bit yeah because i think that is a great idea because it is a good point is that and unless yeah. you've been in that situation you've no idea how hard it is so um but if there's anywhere you think we should go um anywhere that you know any ideas you've got for us to do um you know we're, we're happy to take any ideas yeah. at minute and do anything if you've got any questions you know if people ask us quite a lot of questions over time we try and answer them all in comments um every week when we get questions about anything but if you've got any sort of specific questions that you want us to ask, some of the stuff we get asked quite frequently is kind of, um, you know, what jobs were we doing before we did this and, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, how do we get into it? Those types of things. People want to know about how you earn money, that sort of stuff. But if you've got anything that you want to ask us... Yeah, just pop them in the comments. Pop and we'll, them in comments. We'll then we'll, integrate that into the next episode. Yeah, we'll pull them all together we and we'll sort of bring in, you know, some of the questions that you've got for us, try and answer everybody's as best we can. Because um, that might be a good idea, because sometimes you put it in comments, other people don't read it, do they? So no. it's like, if you if we can do it on camera, it might be, be better for mm. you. But anything, yeah, any ideas you've got, I'm open to suggestions at the minute, really am. <laughs> I just want to be back in Europe, desperately want to be back in Europe. I think my recovery would be quicker if all warmer. I think so, looking at it I out really there, do. it's just grey, isn't it, everywhere? It's the pain from, you know, if anybody else out there sort of suffers with autoimmune issues, you'll know what it's like when it's cold and it's wet. Um, it's almost like your, your bones get damp. So even generally in that this sort of weather, I'm not good anyway. But now on top of it with all this, it's even worse. Right. Off we go Whee! into Skipton. So Skipton is like a kind of little historic market town. Um, it's quite a lot of shops here, quite a lot to be able to do. And a beautiful canal as well. This is steep. If I let go of you here, you've got to go straight in water. Don't you say that. <laughs> it's really steep, is it? Be careful. It's oh, not... my life. Oh. This is trust in a marriage is what this is when he's pushing me down here. This is really steep. Don't you drop me in that oh, well, canal. I've got you. I've Honestly. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> my heart's in my mouth. <laughs> I'm not going to get you back up that it's hill. It's like though. doing that thing, you know, when somebody oh. um, falls back into somebody else's arms. It's like that, but worse. Oh. <laughs> this is nice, isn't it? Some beautiful canal boats, isn't there? Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Canal trips. You won't be able to go on there. If I wanted to go on it, I'd go on it. You'll trust me. I'd find a way. I'm very resilient, you know. None of them have got as good a name as ours, though, have they? No. Well, none of them are pirate ships, are they? That's why. Pirates del Corte. That's what ours is called. Whee! Pirates of the Cut, that means. Although the pirates bit is in English and Del Corte is in Spanish, but still, you know. Otherwise, if we'd have said pirates in Spanish, you wouldn't have understood it. It'd been confusing. Oh, I don't even know if we're going to get through here. We're going to get through. Oh, no, we're now. not going to get through. Now, here's a good example, look. Dis oh, look disability at that. access. There's no way we're going to get through there, so we have to turn back around. Oh, look at that dock, Emma. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's lovely, isn't he? Look at that. Rosie and Jim. You remember Rosie and Jim from when you were kids? Yeah. Look at this, this is an example. You come off of the pavement, and then if you want to cross over to the other side, you can't actually get across, because the kerb is not lowered. So you end up having to go on the road. Seeing life from Daisy's perspective, look. <laughs> 
Is that all you can see, Daisy? Just pavement all the time. Another one of those gold telly for a gold um, yeah. post boxes, look. Means that there's been an Olympic gold medalist in, the, in this town in Skipton. There's a lot of them, though, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, like that. Every town's got an Olympic gold medalist. It used to be rare, didn't it? And now there's loads of them. They're everywhere. <laughs> This is um, a lovely little dog cafe, it's called Kibble and they've got like grass and stuff when you go downstairs into it. It's a lovely little cafe, it's absolutely gorgeous and they do all um, stuff for dogs, you know, like food for dogs and it's all set up around just the dogs rather than around humans. So it's, uh, it's quite a nice place, there's quite a lot of sort of dog places in Skipton, you can take your dogs into most at shops. It's rife with second hand shops, there's loads and loads of charity shops although most of them don't have very good access. There's these beautiful sort of little passageways um, throughout Skipton. Um, there's loads of them all around. They're absolutely gorgeous. All sort of cobbled um, streets and little tiny um, independent shops everywhere. Do you want to go in there? Yeah, let's get in there. <laughs> navy blue, it always reminds me of my school uniform. Spot the Highland cow. <laughs> They're everywhere, aren't they? She sees them a mile off. Look at this, can't get in any at charity shops, they've all got steps. It's doing me head in. I'm missing out on it all. Oh, there haven't been one that you can go in yet. No. And that's charity shops. Is that Skipton Castle? No, I think that's no. the church. Skipton uh -huh. Castle's further up. <laughs> I've never been down this end. No, it's really difficult pushing this wheelchair around here. I am really struggling. I really do admire anybody that kind of has to be in a wheelchair full time and, you know, for both people really, for the, obviously the person in the chair, but it's also the person pushing. It's really difficult because you're trying to watch all the, you know, anything that could catch the wheel, um, you know, and it is really difficult and just quite tiring as well, you know, because you're kind of going up hills trying to push. Jackie had, uh, who recommended Skipton had kind of uh, said oh there's a nice walk around the castle but I genuinely don't know if uh, we should risk it or... I don't know if we're going to be able to get round with get wheelchair. Get round with wheelchair. What about if we cross over there and see if we can get... We've got Skipton Castle there. Let's see what we can... Uh... God it's all a bit steep isn't it? So oh stairs there. there. Oh can you go down that way look? It looks muddy, look how muddy it is. I don't want to risk that. Look how muddy it is down there. You yeah, see that? Yeah, it's quite the, muddy. The, the wheels it? are going to get stuck, but I think that's the castle walk that Jackie were talking about. It but looks so pretty as well, doesn't it? The wheelchair is definitely going to get stuck on this mud. You miss out on so many things, don't you? There's so many things you can't do. Go down see there. what you can find. This is, <laughs> this, is, this is bad, isn't it? Like, you know, so I'm having to leave Emma there because. It's, and it's nobody's fault, really. I mean, can you imagine being the council trying to think of every everything, like every bit of access has to be wheelchair friendly? It must be really difficult, that. Um, and I appreciate that people do kind of, you know, do that where possible, but it's just, you know, the, the shop that we've just been in, the lady were really, really helpful, but it took us about five minutes to get the wheelchair in, and it's just like, it is really difficult because it was so narrow and Emma wanted to have a look in the shop and it's one of the favourite shops to look in and it's just, you know, it's not fair but this is beautiful you know, down here you've got the canal um, if you are visiting Skipton this is, uh, this is a walk but I just don't want to risk it kind of on this, on this it's very muddy um, so I just don't want to risk, risk the wheelchair and then what happens once we get there because I seem to remember that it does get really narrow kind of around the castle walls and stuff um, but it is beautiful. It's started to rain now. Reese, I'm getting wet. I know, I'm coming back <laughs> up. I'm coming back up. You, are, you, you sit there, you wait there. I'm soaking. You wait there and I'll come and get you. <laughs> right. Ah. Let's go. Let's go have something to eat somewhere, I think. You see, this is it when you're vlogging. You're trying to vlog, it's not our usual, like, 
B-rolly shots where we're showing you around places because it's just so difficult, as I said last week, to hold the camera across the chair. And now on top of that, it's raining, so I'm going to have to put the camera equipment away, otherwise it's going to get soaking wet. Let's move on. What a shame, though, that. Next challenge is to get over the road. And as you can see, it's cobbles all the way. So face the challenge, Reese, come on. I know, I'm always up for a challenge. <laughs> It's not, e road. it's not easy, this is it, like no. nothing is, look at, look at this, how, the, how you get down onto the ramp here. Can you see that? Where it kind of comes down here, on cobbles, that's the only access point. Give this a go. Oh, oh, oh. sorry, sorry. And it's not great when you've had a final operation oh neither. <laughs> keep smiling though, we keep smiling. <laughs> you have to do, don't you? Right, I'm going to go on the road here. This is just people are, be people are beeping at me. This is just pushing me down road. <laughs> I'm really not sure we're meant to go down road, you know. Well, I know, but I can't get you across there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. This is Romany Pirates breaking all the rules. <laughs> okay. This is the point where we become the pirate part of the title. I don't care. Right, we've found a way back up. We're, at, we're joining the crossing with the traffic to get back up. So she wants to go in here to Craven Court. I don't mean to moan at all. Anybody that's watched us before knows we are the most positive people you could probably meet. We just laugh our way through life and we're laughing our way through this. But that were just ridiculous to have to come down the road to get to the to, to get across the road in a wheelchair is not okay. That's not okay, is it? Like, if you are a wheelchair user you should be able to access absolutely everything that anybody that's not in a wheelchair can access. I thought that I would have been given. In all seriousness as well, it's, it is really painful. I mean, you know, obviously some people are in wheelchairs because, you know, things just don't work as they should do. Um, but for me, I mean, because I've had a spinal operation, so going over cobbles, it is really, really painful. And I've got quite a high pain threshold. I'm quite used to dealing with pain because um, I handle a lot of my pain through using herbal medication and stuff as well. So, but this is, this, it is really difficult. This is Skipton for anybody that's not, not been before. It's really good actually. There's lots of secondhand shops, lots of places to have lunch. It's a really, really nice town, isn't it? Craven Court's beautiful as well, especially yeah, we'll at Christmas. It's absolutely beautiful. It's all lit up at Christmas. It's really magical. Anyway, let's go and have a laugh. Let's just go and enjoy it. <laughs> Life's for enjoying. Where are you going? See ya. <laughs> She's off. She's off. She's trying to escape. Hang on. We need to cover Daisy up because she's cold. It's just a really magical place, is this? Especially like Emma says at Christmas. It's very kind of old timey, um, little queen sort of uh, side street type feel to it, you know. Oldie worldy, it's lovely. Kind of got all the traditional old lanterns up there. You can just smell all the old sort of um, old fashioned soaps. It smells like um, old rose, like, you know, like your, like your auntie's bathroom used to smell when you were a kid. Stopped here for something to eat. Ordered a spicy cheese panini. We've got Yorkshire pudding with chocolate sauce and ice cream. Ooh. And everybody always thinks I'm mad for that, but Yorkshire pudding with, with ice that cream is gorgeous. Nice. Well, it's just like a pancake. Like something. an eclair, isn't it? Yeah, like an eclair. A chocolate yeah. eclair. So yeah. I'm thinking maybe chocolate eclair. have that afterwards. We shouldn't do, but we you shouldn't know. do. But there you go. I think you deserve it's gotta it. Gotta be done. I think I deserve it as well. You I'm with a treat. you on that. Yeah, yeah. I deserve it. No shops have given you any treats. You rubbish. If reason is out of my head, why won't you tell me? Your body fell out of the bed. Why should I stay? 
so that was Skipton, well what you saw of it. <laughs> it's nice as Skipton, there's loads of, uh, like I said, second-hand shops, cafes, it's that kind of place, you know, very similar to Bakewell, when we went to Bakewell, it's, it's that kind of feel to it. The canal and the castle are beautiful, um, so it's a really nice day out, if you fancy going, it's definitely highly recommended to check it out. Um, but just so difficult in a wheelchair, like I was saying, people just, councils and stuff need to think about what, what access they're providing to people. Um, but we enjoyed it, didn't we? Yeah, it's been yeah, alright. I'm uh, feeling a bit fed up and not being able to get places and not having that freedom. I'm feeling very, very kind of frustrated and cornered at the moment, not being able to have freedom and not being able to get away. Um, but it makes you realise how lucky we are to have what we, we've got, doesn't it, really? Yeah, definitely. We're back at the cottage. Winnie the wheelchair is parked up. That's a new name for my wheelchair, Winnie. And I'm just going to rest up for a few more days now, um, try and get myself moving a little bit in and between. I am really kind of wanted to say that we know we're not bringing you the content that we normally bring you. And so thank you so much for everybody that's just bearing with us and continuing to watch. Please do give us some ideas if you've got anything that you'd like us to do, because we're, like we said before, we're open to all ideas. I feel like this episode has been like quite miserable and moaning <laughs> and that's just not us at all but it, a lot of it is because we are people that like to travel that's who we are we want to be out on the road we want to be out in the van and um, that's what makes us us you know being out and having that freedom and it just shows doesn't it that when somebody sort of stifles you and you can't travel and you can't be free just what that does to you when you used to living with it when you used to having that freedom and you used to being out there I was saying on the way back as we're driving past all places, I'm like, can't we just go somewhere? Can't we just go off somewhere? And Reese is like, no, you can't. There's no way you can sleep in van at the moment. There's just no way you're going to be able to manage it. And I know so many people are stuck at home. So many people can't get out, can't do what we do, you know, don't have that freedom to do what we do. And we have worked hard to get to that point. It hasn't just come to us easily. But I just feel so stifled. I just feel really trapped and that's making me quite sort of miserable. And so I'm determined this week anyway, I'm going to do the very best that I can to start doing a bit more walking, a bit more moving next week. Watch this space because I'm even if I'm walking with my stick or whatever, I'm going to be getting out. I'm going to be walking more. We're going to take you out somewhere and we're going to show you something more interesting. We're going to be back to our old selves again. Uh, I'm going to do our very best, I promise you. Uh, but thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with us. Like I say, send us your ideas, put them in the comments. Keep writing your own story, guys. Um, we are writing ours. It may not be the one we want it to be at the moment, but we are still writing our own story. Catch you next week.